The stock market surprised me. It's not only the title of this video, but it's, it's a true statement. I would say that there are four things that really surprised me about the stock market. And number one is that I really thought the stock market was just for young people because they can invest and then it grows and they can get into growth stocks and they can buy Coke when it's $25 a share and when they retire it's $800 a share. I thought that's the way the stock market worked. Uh, my father was a depression child so he told me my whole life that the stock market is a fool's game. So it took me a long time to get over that pounded into my head by a depression era child. But I realized that the stock market's not just for young people. I'm a retired individual. And what I did was I got into some dividend stocks. To make a long story short, I have to pay for uh, Medicare uh, next year. So to my surprise, you know, you, you get Social Security and uh, that's not much. And then they want to start taking $350 out of that Social Security uh, to cover uh, basic uh, Medicare. So what I did was I put in $16,000 and I put them into dividend stocks and I'm still adjusting my portfolio and I, I'm going to go over all of the individual stocks so I hope that you stick with me on uh, uh, for those deep dives. Uh, but currently, um, well actually you know for the next month, March, I'm going to earn, and this is estimated income, of course, it could change. It could go up. It could go down. $346.30. So my goal was to cover my Medicare cost with my dividend payments. And I think that it's reasonable amount to keep invested would be sixteen, seventeen thousand $17,000 to cover that expense is a fantastic idea for me. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not sure if this would be right for you, but I'm going to give it a try. So instead of earning 0.01% uh, in a savings account, I moved some of that money over uh, to E-Trade, and I'm going to give it a shot. Moving on, the second thing that really surprised me about the stock market was how much fun it is. Uh, you know... I really didn't get involved in with the stock market uh, most of my life because, again, I, my dad said it was a fool's game, so I stayed away from it. But to pick the stocks that make up my portfolio took a bunch of research, and it was really fun to uh, you know search down, investigate, and read stories about these individual companies that I'm going to invest in. Obviously, you want to invest in strong companies, right? That's what. Mr. Buffett says. Um, so E-Trade, when you sign up, you have a lot of um, access to news stories. And uh, I thought this was a, a funny headline. It says DoorDash deliver. Oh, no, not this one. Roku. Roku investors streaming out of stock following disappointing outlook. Well, if you saw Roku went down like $22 a share, which it's like 24%, right? So uh, if you had read this article, you probably could have saved yourself some pain. And since Roku is a streaming app, I thought that was funny. So not only am I entertained, but I'm also um, impressed by the research that you can do into each in, uh, individual company. And finally, on this subject um, of how much fun it is, you're buying stuff. You're buying, you click the purchase button. To buy that stock and that is just a lot of fun so that really surprised me of how much fun it is to research and buy stocks the other thing that i'm just totally floored on and we'll make this a quick one is what my mentality was when the stock market went down so we'll, we'll take a look at the you know at, the, at how the markets performed on on friday the, the, i'm making these videos on over across the three-day weekend um, the Dow was down 145, the NASDAQ was down 130, and the S&P 500 was down 24. Um, this is one of the first down days that I'm experiencing. 
and I thought that I might be upset, but instead I was happy because they say that you should buy the dip. And I went into all of the stock prices and there, there was bargains to be had. So now I'm not only having fun hitting the purchase button, which of course you hit the trade button and then you buy, and then you put in your number of shares, but I was getting shares at a discount. And there was a, a, an actual smile on my face as I'm spending money to purchase these stocks. So that surprised me that when the market went down, it made me happy because it was bargain time. So finally, I just want to finish up on uh, point number four of what, of how I was surprised by the stock market. And that, <clears throat> I'm a recently retired car mechanic. I worked 30 years turning wrenches. And then for another t 10 years, I was uh, still in the business, just not physically fixing cars. So after 40 years of, you know, working for somebody and having a set schedule and the alarm goes off and you brush your teeth and you take a shower and you eat your breakfast and you get in your car. All of a sudden that all of that structure was gone and I was kind of lost, but the stock market, um, you know, it, it gave me something uh, to learn. It gave me, um, it allowed my brain to pick up new skills. I was engaged by it. It, it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, is that I was engaged by um, learning about the stock market. And, you know, few mechanics get to retire. And I feel very fortunate, you know, they, just to clarify, few mechanics get to retire because my age, my age group, we worked with asbestos, you know, from clutch discs and brake pads, and we didn't wear masks, and we didn't wear gloves, and we didn't wear ear protection. So I'm sorry if this volume is a little high on this, but just a part of being an auto mechanic. But I just seem to have a new purpose in life, and, I'm, and it gives me something to concentrate on. And probably most important is an additional revenue stream. So again, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not suggesting that you take your money and put it in the stock market. I just wanted to take a minute to 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 talk about how the stock market surprised me and how maybe my father wasn't right about everything because um, it's not a fool's game to me. And I grew up believing that and you're going to have bad days, but maybe those bad days are the days that you take advantage of the dip, as they say. So thank you for sticking with me through this video and I hope that you'll subscribe and I look forward to telling you more about my individual stocks. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.